Well, we are going to start with basketball, where the Knicks got a huge win last night. Huge. As the Knicks beat the Heat in Game 2 of their Eastern Conference semifinal matchup. Final score, Knicks 111, Heat 105. We like when that happens. Great game. Back and forth the entire time. It was very close matchup, basically throughout all four quarters. The uh, Knicks' Julius Randle came back from injury. Remember, he missed Game 1, and he was excellent last night. 25 points, 12 rebounds, and 8 assists. He was spectacular, and point guard Jalen Brunson was great as always, scoring 30 points himself. So, Which which one's the one with the bad ankle? That's Brunson. Julius Randle. That's Randle? Yeah, right. Julius Randle has the uh, bad ankle, and he was fantastic, uh, but Brunson was great. R.J. Barrett was great. The bench was great, and that's what they need. Uh, the series now tied up at one game apiece, game three in Miami on Saturday. A little time to rest up. At 3.30. So there you go. Saturday's going to be very busy because you got the Knicks, Yankees, and Mets in action. Uh, they might have, uh, I think the Devils might actually be playing on Saturday as well with the Canes. And then you have the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is like a zillion sporting events. same day. Huh? Yeah, all taking place on the same day. Um, other NBA news, LeBron James and the Lakers took down Steph Curry and the Warriors in game one of the Western Conference semifinals, 117-112. to 112. Lakers go up one game to none on the defending champs. Baseball, the Yankees snapped a four-game losing streak by taking down the Guardians last night, 4-2. to Yankee rookie Anthony Volpe had two hits, including his third home run of the year. The Yanks' Willie Calhoun homered as well. The Yanks improved to 16-15. and We'll take that. Yeah, it's about time. They uh, haven't been uh, hitting well, and uh, they needed that win last night, that's for sure. Phillies were destroyed by the Dodgers, 13-1. to Though there is good news, Philly superstar... Bryce Harper returned from Tommy John surgery a lot earlier than expected. They thought he was going to return around the All-Star break, but Bryce Harper is back, though he was 0-4 in his return from injury. The Mets game against the Tigers was rained out. There will be a doubleheader between the Mets and Detroit today, beginning at 140 with the first game. The second game is at 640. And then hockey. Panthers defeated the Maple Leafs 4-2. Kraken got past the Stars 5-4. Devils begin their series against the Carolina Hurricanes on Wednesday. That's tonight, uh, that's baby. That's tonight. So uh, let's go, baby. That's a big one. I think the Huge. I think the Devils can can take the Hurricanes. I think they're a little hobbled. Jeez, I mean, after that uh, unbelievably emotional win in Game Seven, you'd love to f- love to keep this momentum going. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Bring it right into the game one. <sighs> yeah, and then finally, football. Interesting story here. The Nielsen ratings people have just stated. That the most recent Super Bowl between the Chiefs and Eagles is the most watched U.S. television show of all time, drawing at least 115 million people. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. All right. And weirdly enough, Rihanna, they now are readjusting her and saying it's 121 million people, but yet they don't consider that an actual show, just so you know. So that's where they can play around with that. So it outdrew the game. They don't consider that halftime a show, even though it actually says halftime show in it. Don't <laughs> they don't they, they don't consider that. But weirdly enough, they do do separate ratings. And they say that because the Super Bowl itself is the show, 115 million people is an American record. 